Hi guys, it's me again. Uh, welcome to video number two, um, our support videos for the Changing Ocean programs. Now, um, we're going to evaluate all of the data that you guys have collected. You've done a phenomenal job. Um, now, when we analyze this data, uh, the best program for us to use and the easiest and most, most accessible will be will be the Excel spreadsheets. And you can see what I've done with some data here. Um, from your re record sheets, all you need to do is organize your data into columns. Um, so in this case, I've, I've taken the number of jingle clams, so the jingle clam abundance, and I've uh, broken it down into plate one, two, three, four, five. So this is from a, from a five plate unit. I think most of you are using six plate units at the moment. Now, you can see here um, the distribution of jingle clams at Wave Break Island on the different plates compared to the distribution of um, jingle clams on the plates at Karan Cove Marina's arms unit. Now, these, these look, uh, to all intents and purposes, very different. Um, but of course, when you're writing your assessment pieces and your reports, you're going to need to know for sure that these truly are statistically significant. The results are very different to each other. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to um, put together some summary statistics for each site. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is just to show you how to um, put together a summary statistics for Wave Break Island. We'll do Wave Break Island first of all. Okay, so when you have a look at your, um, your, uh, your top banner here, um, you'll see you've got, a, you've got a selection of tags to work with. I would like you to please go to the data tag. Um, on our previous video, we showed you how to install the data analysis tool pack. So there it is. So let's just click on that data analysis tool pack. And as it drops down, you can see um, we need to highlight descriptive statistics. That's the, that's the uh, banner we want you to highlight. And so click OK. Now the drop down menu for that, um, we can see here it's asking for an input range. So we're going to produce stats for each site independent of each other. Okay, so our first one, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to um, produce some statistics for Wave Break Island. So the input range, we need to highlight the data from Wave Break Island. Now you'll notice that I've actually included the title Wave Break Island, um, so non-numerical values along with the numerical values. Now I'll show you why we've done that, because if we look over here now on our drop down menu, can you see this little um, uh, box here? If I check this box here that says labels in first row, that will actually, when it produces the summary statistics, it will actually put Wave Break Island um, uh, in the top row. So we've designated what those statistics actually apply to. It just saves you messing around with editing it a little bit later on. All right. Now, we've chosen the data we'd like to evaluate. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put that data somewhere on this worksheet. And so we need to now choose our output range. So we need to highlight that output range. Okay. Now, you'll also notice, can you notice the cursor is still flashing up in the input range? This gets me every time. Um, you need to be mindful of that. You need to make sure that the cursor is flashing in the box that you require the output range to be placed into, okay? So in this case, we've made sure the cursor is flashing in our output range, and I'm going to dump this data uh, here. So in column E, so we put it in E3. Now, we do have to actually indicate what we want produced, and we can see this box here for summary statistics. So we need to click on summary statistics. Um, the rest of the boxes can remain unchecked and then we can click OK. Now, you can see the results of, uh, of, of, of that, that procedure there. We've got our Wave Break Island data. Um, the two most significant um, values for us uh, and what we're trying to achieve with, with, our, with our research is the mean and also the standard error. All right, so that's our information for Wave Break Island. Now, we're going to do the same thing for Karan Cove Marina. So again, we make sure we've clicked on our tag for data. 
we move along that banner to data analysis. Click on data analysis, bring down the drop down menu, highlight descriptive statistics and okay that. Okay, now you can see our input range is being asked for. The cursor is flashing in the box, that's a good thing. So we'll grab hold of the text and also the numerical values. Perfect. Um, we're going to keep the labels in the first row. That's why we were able to grab hold of that text in that first in that first part. And now our output range is already checked. So where would we like to put it? We'll clear the values that are in the output range because that was from our previous previous um, analysis. Move that along a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the data, the analysis, into um, the, the column directly next to Wavebreak Island. So I'm going to click on G3. Okay, and summary statistics is already checked. So we'll just click OK. Perfect. So we now have our two sites, the summary statistics for our two sites. Um, sitting side by side, not quite side by side, because as you can see, we do have a repetition of the um, of the labels here. So we can get rid of those if we highlight those. Okay, and we will we will delete um, we'll delete that information. Okay, and by doing that, it's been able to draw across the numerical values. So our numerical values are sitting side by side which is going to be really good for us because what I'd like to do in the next video is to show you how we're actually going to evaluate this data. We could look at this now though. I mean, if we look at the mean, um, the mean abundance of um, jingle clams at, at Wave Break Island, we've got 20.4 as opposed to only 1.4 at Kerrang Cove. Now, I think that does stand out as being probably going to be significant, but as I say, we need to support what we say in our reports with some statistical evaluation. So we will show you what we're going to do with that next.